Well, hello, beautiful people. My name is Bridget, and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an awesome day. And I'm loving this, like, candy corn look I did today. Let me know what you think down below. But today we're doing a little bit of a different video. I usually do makeup unboxings, but I've heard a lot of things about the FabFitFun box. I've tried, like, like the kind of box someone sends you a link, and you get, like, a free little gifty thing to sample it out. But I've never gotten a real FabFitFun box. So today, I have one here for you. I only picked out the one. And then a second one arrived the same day, and I like took a peek under the paper, and they're not exactly the same. So today we're going to unbox both of these, and I'll let you know what I think of Fat Pit Phone overall, since I have like a good two sample size here to try out for you. So yeah, this is called the Editor's Box. I don't know if there's other versions of this box. It's my first one ever trying it, so without any further ado, let's get into the video. Alright guys, as always, all makeup on this channel is cruelty free. I have no idea if these boxes are. I will let you know if I see something that's not cruelty free when I unbox it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel already, I'd love to have you here. It'd be awesome and it's free and we could be friends and stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. I want to point out that one of these came in the big box and then one of these was in another box. This one's like clean. That one has like a dirty top to it because this one came inside of another box and this one came just as the box. And I don't know what any of that means. So let's go ahead and get started with the, the dirty one, I guess. Alright, so here's the inside of the box. This is the editor's box. It's supposed to be full of secrets, and we're sharing them. So there's that. There's a note from FabFitFun. It says, bring the best of the best. And it has a list of products. You don't get all these products in here, I think. I think it like lets you know which ones you got out of this list of things. And there's things in here like Ofra. And Luxie. So I know some of these like little shapes in here, but I don't know what's specifically in each box. Alright, so here's the inside of the box. Let's start off with the first thing, which is from Wander Beauty. I'm gonna set this box down because it's just a big box. So these are Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. I feel like we've gotten these before in other boxes of things. The eye masks, I feel like I've seen these before in some other box. I don't remember. But the um, under eye masks are just really good for moisture. I have gotten these before. They give like two different sample packs. They didn't give the whole box. They give us back, like simple packs of these. Another box before. But these are the baggage claim eye masks. I don't remember if the I like these or not. But I feel like these are the ones that kind of slide down and don't stay under your eyes. But regardless, this is the first thing. Next up in here is another thing we've gotten before in other boxes. And I know this is more of a lifestyle box. If you get this big box, you probably don't get other subscription boxes. But this is the No Pore Bloom Primer by Touch and Soul. Also, I feel I sound kind of nasally. I don't feel the best today. I'm sorry about my voice. But this is the No Pore Bloom Primer. This is the kind of thing this brand is known for. Um, and this is what the primer looks like. You've probably seen this a million hundred thousand times. But this is the No Pore Bloom Primer. I believe this retails for $23. Next up in here is something from Feel Renewed. This is a pumpkin walnut facial cleanser with gentle exfoliation. This is what this one looks like. I mean, that sounds fine. Pumpkin walnut sounds like an interesting scent. Is this sealed? Because if it's not sealed, I want to smell it. It is sealed, so I'm going to leave it in case I can give this to someone else who use it more than me. I'm personally not a fan of, like, pumpkin smells. I love pumpkins. I think they're super cute and stuff. But I don't like the pumpkin smell. And also, I heard walnut is, like, not good in skincare. So this one's kind of like a eh, product for me so far. But, like, I am curious about it a little bit for some reason. Next up is something I feel like I have never seen. This is a box is kind of cute though. The box is kind of cute. This is from Apto Skincare. It is a summer mist set. I love mists. This is a turmeric and pomegranate scent. Ooh. Ooh. I love mists. Okay, so this is a two mist set. Uh. Ah. Uh. They're kind of small. So these are the facial mists right here, the turmeric and pomegranate. I'm going to smell it. I'm going to see what it smells like. Here's the pomegranate one. I don't like the way that smells at all. It smells like kind of soury and kind of alcoholy. And the turmeric one doesn't have too much of a sweat. Now I love turmeric skincare, like my turmeric face milk from ColourPop or Fourth Ray Beauty, whatever you call it these days. I love it. This kind of smells like popcorn a tiny, tiny bit. Like, it has no scent, and then when you get the back end of it, it kind of smells like popcorn. This one smells like alcohol. So I'm not a fan of these scent 
these scents for these sprays but I do love a spray and maybe some people would really like these scents but for me it's not that's not it um, but this is the next thing in the box after that we have a cosmetics pure C vitamin C mixing crystals what am I supposed to mix it with application mixed crystals with any of your favorite cosmetics products to apply to face doesn't tell me what that means I says I mix it with other products of theirs but what do I mix it with? A foundation? Do I mix it with another skincare product? Like, it just, it sounds like salt in here. So, never gonna get any use out of this product because it literally doesn't tell you what to do with it. It says mix with any of your other products from them. It doesn't tell you if it's for your face, it doesn't tell you if it's for your eyes, you don't tell you if it's for skincare or makeup, it doesn't tell you anything. Not a fan of whatever this is. I could Google it, but like I don't feel like it right now. So this, dumb. Not a fan of that whatsoever. And I feel like I'm being really harsh. And I'll never get sponsored by FabFitFun. They're never going to pay me to unbox their box. But it's fine because I'd rather be honest about it. So next up in here, this is heavy. This has heaviness to it. This is from Wish. Wish. Um, it is a powerful, effective naturals. Blue matcha restoring mask with antioxidant rich skin balancing stuff. So this is what it looks like. It says detoxifies and purifies, deeply moisturized and smooth. Hmm. Hmm. The matcha sounds good. This is what the jar looks like. It kind of reminds me of the container for the Berry Air from First Aid Beauty. But this is heavy. Like, this is a heavy glass bottle. It kind of just smells like a regular clay mask. But it smells a little bit sweet as well. This is what it looks like. You get like a full, full thing. Like, it's barely fitting in this container. So I like it's actually using all the container. It doesn't smell bad. It kind of smells like your average clay mask. But I probably would get a lot of use out of this just because I am interested in the blue matcha stuff. And I want to see if it actually, you know, cleans my skin up. So this is in here. Ah! And I'm very excited about it. Yeah. <laughs> Next up in here is some um, stuff. Stuff. This is a Nicola Slim Wallet from Circus by Sam Elderman. That's what it looks like. Let's go ahead and I guess we can open it. Alright, so here's the wallet. It's very basic. It's very thin though. It's just a black like leather-like wallet with tons and tons of card holders in here. So this is the wallet. It says it retails for $38. Okay. It doesn't feel like the most luxurious thing in the world, honestly. But this is the wallet. It's very random. But I guess it is a lifestyle box. I guess I'm just used to makeup y stuff. Next up, I think this is the last thing in here. Ooh, that's shady. They have this giant box. And I'm like, you see this in here? They're like, oh, there's so much underneath here because it's so tall. It's just, ah, if I can get it, it's just a piece of elevated cardboard to make it look more full. But regardless, let's talk about the last thing. So this is a blanket scarf from Olive and Peak. It is vintage inspired scarf. It's just a gray scarf with a small pattern at the bottom. I'm not going to open it just because I know I'm not going to use this and I can give it as a gift to someone else. But yeah, this is the scarf and this product. So let me see how much this scarf retails for. This scarf retails for $84, and have you lost your mind? If you've ever paid $84 for a scarf, I am judging you. Sorry, it just is what it is. So let's go over everything we got in this box. We got this $84 scarf. Are you kidding me? We got some mixing crystals I don't know what to do with. We got a blue matcha mask that I think is really nice. We got some spray mist. I love a mist. So these fragrances aren't for me, though. We have a walnut and pumpkin facial scrub, which might be really good for some people, but I heard walnut, so that's supposed to be in skincare. We have a circus wallet. Um, the circ Let's see how much the circus wallet retails for. It retails for $38. I think we said that. We have the no... Um, baggage, the baggage claim under eye master water beauty and we have the no pore blown primer so that was in the first box let's see what's in the second one all right so this is the clean one that didn't come like on its own it came inside another box which felt really wasteful honestly but we have the same papery card in here and um different things i can see right off the bat we have different things in this one so i'm gonna go ahead and like pull out the things we have duplicates of because it was in the first one and I'll run through what they are. We have those crystally things I don't know how to do anything with. Like we have those. 
We have the blue matcha mask again, which honestly probably a pretty good gift for someone. I want to know how much it retails for. How much does it retail for? Wah wah. Fifty eight dollars. Huh. It retails for fifty eight dollars. Okay. We have a feel renewed mask again or cleaner. Um, we have the Wander Beauty masks again. We have a circus wallet again. It's the same one, just a gray. We have the eighty four dollars scarf. Who's paying $84 for a scarf? And then we have two other things that weren't in the other one. So this is from Milk Makeup. I'm excited. I love Milk Makeup and I need to try more of their products. This is a holographic stick. Um, this packaging is really cute. I like Milk Makeup. This retails for $28. This color is too dark for me, unfortunately, but I'm glad to see something Milk Makeup in here, which makes me optimistic there's good makeup in some of these boxes. This is in the shade Mars. And then lastly, we have something from... Harper and Ari, this is exfoliating sugar scrubs. It looks like gummy candy things. This is a juice cleanse sugar scrub. So it's just an exfoliant thing. You can take a single um, cube with you in the shower and massage it over your body. So it's going to get rid of dead skin cells and stuff. So this is the sugar thing. These are pretty cute. Like, I would love to get this in, like, a gift basket kind of thing. I don't know. I mean, I guess that's what this box technically is, like a gift basket kind of builder. But... This is actually really cute, and I love the packaging for this because it kind of looks clinical, and it's kind of nice. So that is everything, because again, we have elevated cardboard in this box. That is everything in both of the FabFitFun boxes. Let me know what your favorite thing is down below. I think for me, I like the blue matcha mask. I think that's fun. Nothing else in here is really like, what well, bam. Like, I guess the no pore bone primer is really popular as well. A lot of people would really like that. But I feel like we've seen it before. So overall, this box isn't... My favorite in the world, I know it's usually $50, and this month it was $25, so that's pretty cool. It's like a pretty good, it's for $25, it's a really good value, but I feel like this thing's been really hyped, so I'm not sure how I feel about it. I don't, I don't know, like I'm not against it, I would definitely want to try it again, but some of the things in here are my favorite, but then other things I'm like, well this could work for a lot of people, or just be a really good gift to someone else, especially with holidays coming up, I'm starting to think like some of these things that I personally don't like in this box, I could definitely give as gifts, make like a little goodie bag of stuff for someone, so that is pretty good, and I'm starting to like this box more than I think about it in that aspect, so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you want to see more from me, please subscribe down below, I'd greatly appreciate it, thank you so much much and have an awesome day guys. Bye.